California real estate stats are in and it's bad. Could we be going back to the 2008 housing crisis? I've got the whole story and it's coming up. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Warren Oberhalser. My channel is all about residential real estate. I'm located in Northern California, San Francisco region, and more specifically in the East Bay Tri-Valley area. I cover everything from the latest real estate news and market updates to my city reviews. So if this sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. California real estate stats are in, and unfortunately they are not good. I'm going to begin with CAR, California Association of Realtors latest stats. Existing single family home sales totaled 241,520 in January on a seasonally adjusted annual rate up 0.4% from December and down 45.7% from January 2022. January statewide median home sale price was 751 and 330,000, down 3% from December and down 1.9% from January 2022. So the bottom line with, if you look at where we were a year ago, 2022, and where we are in January of last month, we're down 45.7% in home sales. If you watched my video, has the California real estate market hit bottom? I break down home sale volume stats in the Tri-Valley area from last year in July. In a little over seven months, the market sold volume dropped over two thirds. CAR continues with something specific to the San Francisco Bay area. Job layoffs in recent months, primarily in the tech sector, have contributed to a decline in both sales and price in higher priced housing markets. With home prices expected to remain soft and the mix of sales continue to shift towards less expensive housing units throughout the rest of 2023, the market will see more downward price adjustments in the next few months. This makes sense in the Tri-Valley area because the luxury home market is being hit the hardest. If you're in Pleasanton, Danville, homes that range from two to 2.5 million tend to be a little soft and anything over that tends to sit on the market a bit because buyers are trying to figure out where the price point is on that type of house. On the opposite, a single family home, let's say under 1800 square feet, price below 1.5 million tends to go pretty fast. Within one to two weeks, it'll go pending. And as I've said before, keep in mind, it can have multiple offers, but it's not a bidding war. So you may find one price or one offer price around the list price, one below, one above, but most home buyers are circling around the last sold comp for that type of home. Here's the latest information from First Tuesday Journal Report. During 2021, historically low interest rates and buyer fever of missing out escalated housing market activity, cannibalizing future sales while inflating prices. Now that the pandemic fuel is gone, sales volume has collapsed heading into 2023. Sale volume will experience a slight upturn as the spring 2023 buying season emerges and causes sales to rise on a monthly basis, peaking mid-year. However, 2023 will be an overall weakening for California home sales volume, as today's supply of home buyers was depleted during the pandemic buying spree. Here's a key that I'm seeing. Buyers now know the math and will only buy when prices stop dropping. Prior to the 2020-21 pandemic jump in home sales, California experienced several years of flat to down sales volume, with the last normal year of sales volume volume occurring in 2019. Watch for home sales volume to continue to trail in 2023. This is something I found interesting. 2024 sale volume will depend on how steeply prices drop in 2023. Without the support of steady rush of home sales, home prices are plummeting from their May 2022 peak, causing recent mortgage home buyers to slip underwater. Expect a return of real estate speculators in 2024 to provide a dead cat bounce during the ongoing sales slump, with a sustainable recovery taking off with the return of the end user home buyers around 2026 to 2027. Uh, that's a lot of information. Let's break it down. I want to go into a little more detail so we can kind of expand it out and we're going to go into a historical review so we can see where we were and that will help us better understand where we're going. Let's look at this first chart from California monthly home sale volume from 2012 to 2023. In a normal market, you expect the spring to show the, the largest rush of home sale volume. You know, spring brings opportunity, whatever. That's when we see the biggest time properties are put on the market and usually the biggest activity of buyer response. 
then we slow down in the summer because people are distracted with vacation and such, and then it'll ramp up a bit in the fall. That's a normal cycle. Chart two shows average home sales from 2011 to 2018. And as I just discussed, you're gonna see the peak always right before June, which is the spring. Another small increase takes place in December as home buyers seek to wrap up their financial activities before the end of the year. I know what's on most viewers' minds and I brought this up in the beginning of the video. Will we have another housing crisis like we did in 2008? To get our head around this, we need to review. Annual real estate sales numbers since the Great Recession of 2008 have been characterized by a continually bumpy plateau in home sales volume now experienced for over a decade. As a rule, current market actions, whether up or down, is reflected first in sales volume, followed by prices, and both fluctuated from month to month, mostly going in opposite directions or just standing still. In 2021 was the first year to see significant sales volume growth, as much as 22% compared to the year prior. So let's compare that to what was running up to 2008. If we look at the sales volume in 2021, yes, it increased a lot from the year prior, but it still paled in comparison to 2005. It was down 29%. So what's the prediction for this year? How will this year end up? Well, it says lower homeowner turnover due to rising mortgage interest rates, reduced home inventory across the state, and I've talked <laughs> to nauseam about that, and the 2023 recession, which as of yet is undeclared, but is already being felt across the housing market. They continue with home prices have leveled off in mid-2022 and will soon fall, dragged down by significant cuts to buyer purchasing power. When home prices fall, some California mortgage homeowners will fall underwater. Thus, turnover by chunk of owners will be restricted. These homeowners cannot sell and relocate to purchase another home because their homes are worth less than the debt encumbering them. And it continues on to discuss some of these will become short sales and others will be bank owned properties. Again, we're talking about those who bought in the peak of 2022 because yes, depending on the area, because real estate is hyper local, some homes have lost as much as 15% of value once the market dropped. To wrap this up, home trend for California home sales is mixed for both buyers and sellers. Relocating baby boomers going into retirement in the coming years will be the primary propelling force in both selling homes and buying replacements. Their Generation Y children will add to the sales volume at the same time as they find better jobs at better pay levels and become first time home buyers. Once California job market rebounds from the recession, then their confidence about the future will improve. You'll find links for both articles in the show notes below. So what are my thoughts on both articles and are we going to see a housing crisis as we did in 2008? Regarding the housing crisis, I don't see a repeat as possible. The 2008 housing crisis or debacle was caused by the failure of the subprime mortgages. This left many homeowners with few options but to sell their property in a short sale or let the bank foreclose on it. According to Redfin, 85% of homeowners with a mortgage have a 30-year fixed mortgage well below 6%. These record low mortgage rates tend to lock the homeowner in staying put, even if they'd like to sell. This causes a housing gridlock, and this affects not only the first-time home buyer, but also the move-up buyer. What stood out to me by the article by First Tuesday Journal, the recession has yet to be measured or acknowledged. As I understand from Barry Habib, once the job report reflect the true number of full-time unemployed workers, mortgage interest rates could start to go down. Keep in mind, economics are very complicated and clearly above my pay grade. However, I'm bringing this up to you since it could have a positive effect on short-term mortgage interest rates. I do want to bring up I don't expect mortgage interest rates to go below 4%. Hopefully, if we get enough wind in our sales, as some have predicted, we could see rates drop below 6%, more like mid fives to high fives. So those are my thoughts. I wanna hear from you. What do you think is going to happen with the housing market, especially as we go into next year? If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Again, post any questions or comments you have down below, especially on what the housing market could do as we go into next year. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider doing so so you don't miss anything. If you found this video interesting, you may wanna watch these other two videos that are coming up because I'm gonna go into a little more detail on mortgage interest rates and what could happen with the uh, housing market as we go later in the year. So stay tuned. I'll have more helpful videos like this coming soon. Please reach out to me for any of your real estate questions or needs. And I wish you all the best on your home journey.